Hello out there. It's Cage and Coogan coming back at you with another little video. Now on this channel, as you know, we talk about all kinds of shit. And I mean all kinds of crazy shit. The old shit we talking about today is about a little story that an old boy told me the other day that um, I wanted to share with you all. You understand, man? A little old story uh, about uh, back in now uh, when that old big-ass hurricane hit back in New Orleans uh, years ago. You understand me? Now, this happened back during the hurricane. You understand me? And um, this old boy was uh, sitting up in his house on his sofa. You hear me? He was uh, one of the lucky ones back then that his house didn't get, you know, a whole lot of damage and shit because that hurricane down there fucked some shit up down there in New Orleans. You understand me? It really did. It fucked all kind of shit up. Most people's houses, you know, got beat the fuck. You understand me? But this old boy is... Uh, you know, I was pretty lucky. He didn't have a whole lot of damage and shit, you know. Um, you know, so he was one of the lucky ones, you know I mean? And this was after the hurricane dump passed. I mean, like, a day after the hurricane passed and shit, you know hear I me? Mean? And um, he was sitting up there on the sofa, you know, and... Um, in his living room, and um, he couldn't sleep and shit, you know, so, uh, and he had windows broken and all kind of shit, the electricity was out, and uh, he, you know, he said he needed to stay up, he didn't want uh, anybody coming in, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying cause they had a, you know, a whole lot of this goddamn looting and shit going on, you know, these cocksuckers was uh, going into people's houses and shit, you understand, man, so he was worried about that shit, so, um, so he just stayed up all night, and was just sitting there on the sofa, you know, and, um, good thing he did, because somebody actually came in this motherfucker's house, you understand, man, he was sitting up in there, and, um, and all of a sudden, he was just, um, hear something going on outside his front window, you understand, man? And so, uh, he said, who the fuck is that? Is that somebody coming, trying to come in this motherfucker, you hear me? And, uh, sure enough, soon as he thought that, he sees two white tennis shoes coming through the window, you hear me? I mean, that's all he seen was tennis shoes coming through the goddamn window. It was some cocksucker that was climbing through the goddamn window and came in feet first, you understand me? So uh, he came through this goddamn window, you know, feet first and shit, jumped down on the goddamn floor, and now uh, his back was turned, you know, to uh, from my buddy, you know, so... He had no idea who my buddy was sitting up in the on the sofa, you know what I'm saying? Because this motherfucker's back was turned, you know hear I me? Mean? And he was sitting up there, and he had a goddamn baseball bat up there, you know, just waiting for one of these motherfuckers to come in, you understand know I me? Mean? And so as soon as that motherfucker turned around, he seen my partner standing there with his goddamn baseball bat. And he just slugged the hell out of this bitch, you understand me? I mean, he knocked the shit out of this boy. And that some bitch just hit the fucking ground, you understand me? And so he went ahead and called the goddamn police, you understand me? And he told the police that he had somebody that just came into his, through his window and, uh, 
And uh, he was uh, notified you all that I yeah, don't need to get somebody over here because, you know, I just got a motherfucker over here. I just came through my goddamn window and yeah, you hear me? And the police is trying to tell him, well, um, we tied up right now. We got units. Every unit we got is tied up on call. So uh, she just told him, you know, the best thing I can tell you to do is just try to keep him there as long as you can, and we'll get a unit out to you, you know, just as soon as possible, you know what I mean? And he said, well, okay, but uh, I keep him here as long as I can, you know what I mean? And so what this motherfucker did, man, he just took this son of a bitch, picked this son of a bitch up, found some goddamn rope and shit, and just hold tied that bitch. I mean, he just hold tied that motherfucker good, you understand me, and sitting there and waited for the police to come, and finally the goddamn police shows up, you understand me, and the police comes in there and sees this old boy sitting up in there, hog tied, you understand me, and he looked at this, please look at this old boy and said, well, who tied this son of a bitch up? And he said, well, me, I hog tied his ass because y'all told me to keep him there as long as I could. So I went ahead and hog tied this motherfucker, you understand me? And I, and they just looked at him straight and said, well, I don't. I don't think they meant to hog tie the son of a bitch. And he go, well, what you want me to do? You know, you want me to keep him here. So I hog tie the bitch. You understand me? So um, anyway, they sitting here talking, questioning him like uh, he's the goddamn criminal. You know what I'm saying? And this old boy just look at this uh, police officer straight and said, look, why are you questioning me like this? I I ain't the motherfucker came through somebody's goddamn window feet first, you understand me? You know, I think you ought to be questioning this motherfucker just sitting here hog tied instead of me, you hear me? So, uh, anyway, but, um, this motherfucker, the police wind up, uh, untying this son of a bitch and started questioning the goddamn suspect, right? And they wanted up arresting him and bringing him to goddamn jail and shit. But, uh, anyway, um, just a little old story this old boy told me. I just wanted to share with y'all right quick. And, um, y'all hit me up on the comments below and, uh, don't forget to hit that 